I do. Um, I'm gonna say racism is like, racism is stupid. Can I say that? Okay. And I'm 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 out in the suburbs. Now I'm, I'm originally from Mississippi. You know, poverty projects and all that. But now I live in the suburbs. And my daughter came home one day from school. She was like, um. She looked me dead in my face. She was always excited. She was like, Daddy, my friend Alyssa wants me to come over her house. But, Daddy, we got to go to the store and get some paint because Alyssa said that her mother doesn't like black people. We got to paint myself white. Whoa. I was like, wow. But then I thought about it. I said, we're going to handle this correctly. I'm going to teach my daughter a lesson. And we'll, 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 we'll handle this properly. So I did the right thing any father would do. I sent my daughter over Alyssa's house every day as a black stereotype. First day I sent over there as a pre-slavery African. I sent over there butt naked with some tribal paint on and a spear. She all at the door ready to attack. Can Alyssa come out and play? Jumbo, Jumbo. Y'all didn't know I knew Swahili. My daughter got arrested for indecent exposure that day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to trying to keep it in the middle. Oh. Second day I sent over there as a um, house Negro. I sent her like a what you call a, a tur on your mama head bandana. Big old, big old jar of syrup. She's standing at the door. Can I just come in and clean your daughter's house, your daughter's room today? Still didn't get in. Third day I sent over there dressed as a civil rights worker. She had a little picket sign, white shirt, black slacks on, singing We Shall Overcome. This time I got mad as hell because they started to play along too. They let the damn German Shepherd loose on my daughter. I said I went too far. Somebody said for our hopes. God, dog. God. I love my kids though, man. I'm, but sometimes my kids can be buttholes. Like my son. Like my daughter, Aquafina, she cool, but my son. Y'all gonna stop laughing at my son's name, though. <laughs> Keep it steady. But my son, Jaquan Terrace, is a butthole. Like, I knew, I knew he was a butthole, because, you know, he say little things, just little small stuff, kind of get under your, under, your, under your nerves at home. Like, Daddy, shut up, or I'll punch you in your face. But then, when I, like, when I took him to daycare, I didn't know how bad it was until I took him to daycare. I took him to daycare in the morning and I knew something was wrong because as soon as he walked in, one of the kids was like, ooh, he's still mad, y'all. As soon as he walked in there, my son just started pacing like a prisoner, just walking, just. And I'm looking like, oh my God, is that my little son? Is that, what's wrong, Jaquan Terrius? What's Jaquan Terrius, what's wrong? And the teacher, I guess she thought she was going to come in and defuse the situation. She was like, hi, Jaquan Terrius, how are you this morning? Come on and give me a big hug. And as soon as she picked him up, he just smacked her dead in the face. Just... Being the disciplinary I am, I looked at my son. I looked at that teacher. I said, y'all have a good day. I ain't want no part of that drama. Ain't going to get me slapped this morning. I like y'all, y'all pretty cool, man. I'm a, do I, do I, I'm a, do I, okay. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell 17 more jokes and I'll get up out of here. Uh, I'm gonna be real for a second. I'm gonna, um, I lost my mother in March. You don't have to also, hey, 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 you know, we deal with it. I lost my mother in March. My, my father had already passed, but when I lost my mother, it's the toughest thing I had to deal with in my life, ever. And the day my mother passed, I was dead. My mother, she looked me in my face, I'm breaking down. My mother, she said, son, don't cry for me. You be strong. 
This is the law of life. Sure as you live, you die. It's my time. I'm always in your heart. And I thought about it. I said, my mother's the strongest person I know. She's been through civil rights, struggle, the 60s in Mississippi. And I said, I can't wait to have a moment like that with my kids. But I was born in the 80s. I ain't been through nothing. I can see me in my last days talking to my kids. Y'all, come on in, Jaquan Terrius and Aquafina. Well, you know, um, it's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. Instead of treated, we get tricked. Instead of kisses, we get kicked. It's a hard knock life. And now you know, knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. And whatever you do, make sure you get those dogs spayed and neutered. Aquafina, stop. Don't do that, Aquafina. Girl, don't stop. Aqu be strong. Aquafina, don't you cry for me. Come on, Aquafina. Hey, clap your hands, everybody. Come on, y'all. Say it's all right. Say clap your hands. What I'm trying to say is a damn rap concert gonna break out in my hospital room. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I just want to talk about my kids right now. I, guess, I don't know. Um, it drive, I guess it drives me crazy when I see people that can't control. Even though I couldn't control my son, I hate when other people can't control their kids in public. Well, like I was out um, at Dollar General Black Friday. Because I'm bowling like that. Um, Oh yeah. yeah. That was like the best heckle I've had all month. Um, but I saw this dude, I love this little thing. Um, he needs some pants on though. But um, I saw this dude, his son was just acting a fool, throwing stuff everywhere. And the guy looked around at us, he was like, I'm sorry, little Timmy's out in public, he knows there's nothing we can do. I looked him dead in his face, I said, that's a damn lie. I got a move I use with my kids that's tried and true, I call it the cheerful choke. That's when you look your child dead in the face, smile to the crowd around you, and choke your child to death. That's the look I give them all the time, they know it's coming. Jaquan Terry's be acting a fool. Daddy, I want some candy. Daddy, please give me some of that $1 juice. Daddy, please, can I get some chocolate thunder? <laughs> I look him in his face. I'm like, now, Jaquan Terry's, didn't I tell you we weren't going to get no food candy up in here today? Didn't I? I swear, I brought you in this world. I'll take you out. Shut your mouth, boy. I swear, if you don't be quiet, I will throw you in them damn oranges. Shut up now. <laughs> Shut your mouth or I will kill you and throw you in the trunk. Be quiet. How you doing, officer? No, he's not asleep. He's just a little tired right now. I'm going to take him home right now. But make sure when you use the chiffle choke, you choke him from the back of the neck, not the front, because you're going straight to jail if you choke your child in the front. Yo, you guys, I'm about to get out of here, but y'all keep supporting Open Stage and the beautiful thing y'all got going in here. My name's Byron Stamps. Y'all have a great night.